Sorry for the technical difficulties, man. I had to help him out. He's not good with the camera. Now, when you ran out of all your options, you have to come to what we call the VIP section. And that's when we need to get in your child's ass. And eventually, you're going to have to learn to get in their ass. Because if not, they're going to wind up getting in your ass. And then you got a problem. Okay? Then when they call us, we coming to get in your ass. Because look, we don't hold no claws. Even though we're going to start doing research and find out if the child is calling us to whoop the parents. But this is ma mainly a parent thing. But as we begin to get into the recession out here coming up, we just might have to take some calls like that. But mm, we, we're not there yet. Now, um... What we have right here is the computer cord, okay? Now, computer cord now, and we've done a study on, on welts and whoopings on how long that it should take for you to keep your child out of school. Now, up here says computer cord. As you can see, this must be a computer cord. Now, if you got to unscrew this and your child still acting up and you he knows you unscrewing all these guys and unscrew. See, I'm gonna be like, hold up, you think I'm playing? Hold on, you think I'm playing? By the time I get all these screws off, and you still ain't said, I, right, I, right, I'm through playing. Okay, I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. I'm gonna what? Get in your ass. Now this right here, you get to whooping the child. You only need about two to three licks. But I say, if you go anywhere from five to eight licks, they might want to be out three to five days because these gonna put some serious welts for real. So we suggest that. Uh, three to five days your child will be out of school so you might want to get the school work ready the homework because no they're not going to just sit there and just and just be just mad no they're going to be doing their homework um now for all you people who want to go real light and don't want to really get in their ass i understand what we have here is a plastic hanger i don't think i've ever been whooped with one of these have you <laughs> no man our parents wouldn't even waste time it'd probably break on us on the second whooping but this is for when you want to Get in their ass and they think this gonna hurt, but it really don't hurt. You know what I'm saying? I can break this on a child. What are them told? Get your ass, get your ass out. You know, hey, look, they get right with these though, but they don't get all the way right. They get right. This will this is this will get you about two, three days of peace. But you're gonna have to step it up. Now, right here, you got the ironing cord. Now everybody know -wee, that iron cord, boy. Hey, look, I still get shivers when I remember the iron cord. Well, the iron cord is when your mama come in with that iron cord. Now, this is a long one, but the iron cord is from back in the 70s and 80s. This would be real short. You know what I'm saying? But this one, it says five to ten days they're going to have to be out of school. So, um, be prepared to either get all their homework and get all that ready because they're not going to be going to school no time soon. This has got them lines in it, right? You can see lines all over. And if you're one of them parents that don't care about aiming, you know what I'm saying? Because we prefer below the waist. You know, because it's not going to mess up facial features, none of that. They can still go outside in the public, but just not school. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just to be on the safe side. I'm going to tell you this. If you add up how long I've missed school from all the whoopings I've got, the bad whoopings, the ones where I couldn't go to school, bro, I probably missed a whole year. Real talk. But do whoopings work? Yes, they do. Why do you think we got this business going? Then we got the metal hanger. The metal hanger, now this is just forget about school. This is forget about school. This is when your child and took you to the limit and just made you where it's it's time to look. This is when they know that the, the jack and the cat and the hat's up, the jigs up. That's they know what this means. Well, look, when you have to tell one of these to a child, that means they done did something when you almost gotta take their life. Where the police either looking for them, they done stole. Did something where you just know that there's something better in them. You know what I'm saying? Now, we always know that after this, talking to the child is the way that you get through them. But if you can't get through them, you got to get in that ass. I'm sorry. Some kids just are made that way. Man, I'm not going to show them that, man. You, you, for real? Okay, well, look. We ain't really worked on this yet that good, but we got us what we call the old school or the old school. We, we bought this from a tree in Atlanta. Way down in southern Atlanta, we bought this from a tree. This is the switch. This is the old school, right? It's pinned to the wall. It, you can't even take that off the wall. But no, that's a switch from Atlanta. Uh, and it's birch. Now, if everybody knows the, the trees where they made the braided switch was a sycamore. 
So that right there, birds is gonna do some damage. There right there, you you gonna pay an extra fee, and you might have to do the switching yourself. So uh, that's just just that's just half of it. I ain't gonna show y'all the other room with all the other stuff we got from China because you know that stuff is illegal right now because of the import tax. But whatever that is, hey man, call us. Let me show you the number is. Uh, 847-327-9627 327-9627 that's your ass uh, I wish we would have more room we would have ASS but you can't put a curse word in the phone number so that's why we just put that's your ass it's how you say it that's your ass you did and uh, uh, you know like we say I'm on my way OMW right for you millennial parents I love y'all keep it up Stop act letting them kids run over you. If you run over them, don't run them over with the car. Holler back.